Welcome back. Joining me now is a basketball star of the Harlem Globetrotters, Max Hops Pierce. Hi, Hops. Thanks for joining me. Thank you for having me. Okay, how did you get the nickname? So, 2018, I was in the College Slam Dunk Contest, and pretty much once I made the team for the Globetrotters, they were like, you jump pretty high. We're going to give you the nickname Hops, like Bunny Hops. Okay, so. okay. Wait, okay, so that's, I was going to ask, how does one get to become a Harlem Globetrotter? So I, I like to think of it as a two-part thing. The first part is all of my teammates have either played in college or professionally. Mm -hmm. The second half is the personality part. So because we are known as ambassadors of goodwill and we go pretty much all around the world, we'll visit hospitals, we'll visit schools, um, pretty much any environment we will be in. So we have to be able to produce a smile on somebody's face. Mm -hmm. So that's why the personality part is so important. So as long as you have the ability to make people smile and, and you know you're happy and personable, and then you can also do a little stuff with the ball, then I think you're fit to be a glow charter. A little something, we'll see that <laughs> in, in just a minute. Um, tell me a little bit about what your experience has been like. This is sixth season yes. with the Harlem Globetrotters. Um, it's been incredible. I've been to 15 countries and in the next three weeks I will have been to 18. Um, wow. I've shot a trick shot off of a building in New York City. <laughs> um, but honestly, again, I, I think the best part about being a Globetrotter is the ability to connect with people. I think basketball has such a unique ability to unite, mm -hmm. um, whether we're in a country where we speak the same language or not. Yeah, it's fun. So. And by the way, fun fact, I don't know if you guys, I told you this, but I went to a Harlem Globetrotters show when I was a kid and okay. they like brought me onto the court what? to do a trick. I will never forget that day. I had so much fun. Wow, yeah, I, I do think that's one of the cool experiences about a Globetrotter game is that we do interact with the fans much more than any other sports experience that you can have. And something really exciting is happening. Tell me a little bit about Harlem Globetrotters Play It Forward series. Yeah, so the Play It Forward series is our first time on television in the last 40 years. The last time we were on is probably like Scooby-Doo or Gilligan's Island. Um, so the Play It Forward series takes a deeper dive into what the players are passionate and focused on um, outside of the game. So for me, that's art. For some of my other teammates, like they just had a, um, a ballet episode. Um, he just, just did all a split. Wow. Okay. Yeah, you guys do some crazy stuff. Uh, yeah. Do you want to show me some? Yes. Okay. So if you stand on this side, for okay. Me, and you're gonna point to the sky just like that, and I'm gonna show you. You see, he's showing off though because he's able to actually do this, but he is a professional. <gasps> So much fun. There you go. What else do you got? I put on my basketball pants today, okay? Okay, so so one of the things that we like to do, we just start low. The kids go crazy for this stuff, by the way. Look at him. Okay. Oh, oh now you want me to try yep, that? Yep. Oh, goodness. Okay. <laughs> There you go. Yep, <laughs> alternate back, but that's that's solid. That's good. That wasn't too bad. That's right? good. Um something else. Uh, so what we like to do before the game is called a magic circle. Mm -hmm. uh, we basically show off our tricks a little bit. <laughs> so just to get warmed up. Oh my goodness. Go there. You guys have so much fun. But I really want to know though, because obviously like you're an actual athlete, you played basketball for real, yep. the sport. The sport. Yes. This is more like a performance, this is showing off. So how did you take your basketball levels and take them to a more performance level? So I, I think one of the great things that the Globe Charter coaching staff does is push or, or they get the creativity out of players. So we're all pretty naturally creative in our own way. I think the unique way that the Globe Charters do that is by trying to marry basketball with other passions that we have. And that kind of opens our minds to seeing how we can use a basketball in a different way. Okay, tell us what's different about this tour for you this year. Obviously, this is a different season for you. <laughs> a lot of fun. New teammates? New teammates. We have a few new rookies. Um, I think this year in particular is fun for the fans because they'll have an opportunity at the game to dictate whether, I don't want to give too much away, but they'll have an opportunity to dictate what happens in the game at a certain point. Okay, so, okay. Do you have one more trick in you? Yes. Do? Okay. Yes. So. Oh goodness, he's taking the shoes off. <laughs> <laughs> Let's 
Alright, here we go. I gotta get a good spin for this. There we go. Oh god. Oh goodness. No way. Oh my goodness. Can we get a round of applause for that? <laughs> Absolutely incredible. <laughs> Viewers, there's a lot more than this. You can only do so much in the studio. But if you would like to learn more about the Harlem Globetrotters Global Tour, they're stopping by Buffalo on February 2nd. For tickets and more information, head over to their website, harlemglobetrotters.com. Thanks again, Hobbs. Thank you. <laughs>